Yo, what's up everybody welcome back to brand new video and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to create swap profile i'm gonna be showing you how to increase ROM memory on your android device step by step without using a computer without using any custom recovery like twrb or anything like that so let's get started so as i just said i'm gonna be showing you how to use swapper how to create how you can create a swapper file on your android device without having root ss i have made here on this channel video showing how to increase ram memory of your phone using swapper file so today i'm gonna be showing you step by step how you can create the swapper file so you can increase ram memory of your phone uh, as much as as much as you want okay so let's get started by downloading the swapper application i'm gonna be a drop in the link of the app on the description of this video i have just downloaded it right now you're gonna need this app i'm gonna be dropping the link of this application in the description of this video or you can download this application by teasing on google swapable tool so just download install on your android device you don't need to okay once you have the application the swapper tool installed a uh, on your android device what are you going to do now as i just said you don't need to worry about it the application it doesn't have a virus it's going to be working on your android device without a problem once you have this application installed on your phone do not open the application now we're going to need another application to install on your android device we're going to need to install a virtual memory on your android device a vm we're going to be using a v phone i'm going to be dropping the link of the other application that we are going to be using as well in the description of this video so what you have to just install on your phone as well you don't need to worry about it this application as well doesn't have a virus i have used this application for a while so you don't need to worry about it it will not hurt your device or to something like that just install on your phone and uh, just follow my step careful All right, uh, once you have the application installed now, just open the application. It's going to be in Chinese. You don't need to worry about it. Uh, as I just said, the application, it doesn't have a virus. When I click on the first option, I don't know why it's saying it is in Chinese. When I click on it, swap to the right, swap one more time to the right. And you want to click right over here on this bar. Right over here in this bar, when I click on it. To proceed by doing that you will have this screen when i click it on this option click it on it it's going to be asking you to give some permission to the application go ahead give it all the permission to the app give it full control to the application uh, by clicking right over here on allow this icon by doing that just to return return one more time and you will have this screen you want to click it right over here All right uh, as i just said give you all the permission to the application you don't need to worry about it this application will not hurt your device it's going to help you to do what you want to do so give you all the application to the app once you did that the application will start initializing what you have to just be patient of course it's going to take a little bit on your android device uh, this is depending on android device if you have there an IC experience on your phone, like if you have 4 gigabytes or something, the process will not take too long. As you can see, in my case, the application has started. If it is taking too long on your Android device, just be patient and wait 5 minutes, 7 minutes, 10 minutes, just to wait. Alright, once the application is started, it's gonna be just like this. I'm gonna click it on it. Okay, first of all, let's try to change this language, the Chinese language. Swap up to do that, to change the language. Swap up when I click it on the setting icon. By doing that, you will have the setting of this app. When I scroll down and find this uh, option, I mean this icon. When I click it on it, when I click it on the first option, click it on it. On the second option click on it as well by doing that you will have the uh, all the language which are available on this emulator just let the one that you want to apply 
and drag the first place. By doing that, the change will automatically, uh, the language will be automatically changed. All right. Um, so to create the swapper file on on this VM, what you want, what you're going to do, you have to click on this icon. First of all, click on the first icon. Click on the first option. We are going to install the swapper file. I mean the swapper application on this system. So by doing that, you will have all the application which you are installed on your internet device. Just select the one that you want to install and it's going to be installed on this VM easily. Uh, we want to install the Swapper application, which is the last one. Click on it and click on this option. Hit wait. Now return. By doing that, you will have the Swapper install it on the v phone okay now what you're going to do just to open this webber by clicking on it by doing that you will have this screen what you're going to do just a uh, first of all you want to mark this a uh, option the first option when i click on this icon what you're going to do next you have to click on this a uh, bar which is saying choose swap territory which is saying choose swabber clicking on it you're going to select where you want to store the swabber file where are going to be stored the swabber file so you have to create a new folder or you have to select one of this folder i'm going to create a new one and name it as what the hey whatever i'm gonna uh, select the download folder and mark and you want to click on select all right by doing that you will have this space with 200 megabytes this is the space that you want you're going to build the value of mb that you want to create in a in swapper file for example if you want to create a one gigabyte of ram memory of swapper you have to put here 1024 megabytes and uh, in the, in the automatically it's going to be created one to one gigabyte of swapper file so if you want to create two gigabytes you have to put here 2024 in my case i'm going to do a one gigabyte i'm going to try let's put here 1024 mb by doing that just click on this banner which is saying save by clicking on this option it will be automatically created the swapper file okay as you can see is now creating if you are creating for example 5 gigabytes or 10 gigabytes or 20 gigabytes it's going to take long just to be patient and wait it's going to take like 5 minutes 10 minutes it can take 20 minutes just to be patient okay as you can see in my case the process is complete now which means that the file is created now uh, Okay, now what we're going to do, we have to export the file that we just created. We have to take the file from this uh, virtual system to my meme phone. Okay, so to do that, I want to click on this icon, the first icon as we did on the start. I want to click on it. Now we're going to click on the second option. Click on it. By doing that, you will have this window. I want to click on the first, I mean on the second one. A download folder. By doing that, you will have the file that you just created. Just mark the file and click on this button. Click on it. Now let's just wait a little bit. All right, the file is a uh, moved to my me Android. Let's return. Let's see. Let's try to locate the file that we just created. Click the internal storage. Internal storage. On internal storage, you're going to a uh, you're going to see this folder. You're going to have this folder. V. Wanna click it on it. By doing that, you will have the file, the one that you just created on the V phone on the virtual machine. It's uh in my phone in my main system. As you can see, 
Now, what you want to do, just uh, you have to create a new folder on your internal storage in order to uh, have this file working on your phone to increase the RAM memory on your phone. So, you have to create a new folder on your internal storage. Let's create a new folder and name it as a um, swapper, just like this. By doing that, uh, you have to cut the file and put it on the swapper folder. Uh, move the file wanna move the file and put um and put it on the swapper for the, the one that you just created all right by doing that uh, what you need to do now just to, uh, restart your device reboot your android device and uh, by that by doing that you will have your android device working faster and smooth uh, without lagging when you are gaming, you will have a nice experience on your Android device, easy and simple. Okay, so as I just said, if you want to create more, you can do, you can repeat the same process as we did by opening the server. You have to uh, click here the number, you have to put here the number of a uh, gigabytes that you want to create. Even if you want to create a 20 gigabyte of RAM memory, it is possible to do that. You have to put here a uh, the number in mb of 20 gigabyte and it's gonna be created easily okay so that was the video stuff from here this video help you out if this video help you out please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet i leave the notification to get notified about new video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out